I'd like to welcome you tonight to Nap Torpy Field, home of the Bridgewater Bears, for tonight's playoff contest between the Bears and the New Jersey Broncos. As you can see from the kickoff, it's taken back by Angelo Quintana, tackled by Marquise Washington, the, one of the leading tacklers in the league. The Bears will set up shop on their own 39-yard line. Bears took both games of the series during the regular season, 16-6 and 37-4. On the first play from scrimmage, out of the I formation, it's Robert Cheese, the second leading rusher in the league, scampering down the sideline there for 33 yards, finally pushed out of bounds by Terrence Ball Reese by at the Bronco 28. On the next play from scrimmage, it's Cheese again on the handoff, going around the outside there, and takes it 13 yards down to the 10-yard line. On the first and goal play, Bears are setting up as the defense looks to be rushing. They pitch out to Cheese, who takes it down to the eight. However, is stripped by Javon Johnson there, and the ball is recovered by Sid Bell at the Bronco two-yard line. After a few plays for some yardage and a first down, Carlo Thomas goes back to pass and gets sacked by Tim Bales of the Bears. That'll bring up a second and 12 on the Bronco 10-yard line. You'll see Thomas hand off to Jared Mays who loses the handle and the ball is turned right back over to the Bears where Jeremy Carr takes over. First and 10 Bears from the 14-yard line. After a plays to move it up by a cheese run, it's James Estrella on the quarterback keeper hit the end zone for a one-yard touchdown. And with 5.44 remaining, it's your Bears 7, Broncos nothing. After a couple possessions, the Bears have the ball back, and it's a second and six on the 33, and watch how Tyree Uzzle comes up and stuffs Cheese for a three-yard loss. The Bears again have the ball. This time it's James Estrella going back to pass, looking, and jumping the route is Barry Hewitt, who returns the ball 26 yards to the Bear 11, where he's tackled by Tim Bayless. However, the Broncos could not bring any offense to that possession. Bears take it back at the three, and it's once again Robert Cheese down the sideline, this time the right side, for 67 yards, finally pushed out of bounds by Julius Toby. That gives the Bears a first and 10 at the Bronco 30. And looks like some miscommunication is going to happen on this play as Estrella gives it to Garcia who never actually gets the handle on the ball where the fumble is recovered by Javon Johnson. Fumble on the play. It's first down by the Broncos at the 27 as they stuff him again. Now punting is Jared Mays who only gets a 16 yard punt off Quickly returned by Cordell Marshall down the sideline. Finally tackled on the play by the punter, Jared Mays, where it will set up the Bears first and goal at the six yard line. After a cheese run is stopped, Estrella hands off to Angelo Quintana, who takes it six yards into the end zone and crosses the line for the touchdown at 7.15, making the score Bears 14. Broncos nothing. We're now at 224 remaining in the second quarter. And it's Pete Amadeo lining up for a 32-yard field goal. Snap is good. However, the kick goes wide right. Leaving your score 14 nothing Bears with 224 remaining. Broncos will take over. It's a third and four. Carlos Thomas hits Terrence Austin on a pass who thinks he's not down, however, Curtis Cooper does put him down. Still a 10-yard gain and a first down. Your next play from scrimmage is a miss hike where the fumble is recovered by Andre Dennis, giving the Bears first and 10 at the Bronco 31 with 48 seconds remaining in the half. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Estrella goes under center once again. Airs it out down the sideline. However, again is picked off by Barry Hewitt, this time at the Broncos 7. He returns it up 29 yards to the 36, where he's, there where he's tackled by Tim Bales. Gives the Broncos first and 10 at the 36 with 24 seconds remaining. After three incompletes, Carlo Thomas calls his own number. Scrambles around, trying to get yardage as the half runs out. He's tackled by Curtis Cooper and Jeremy Carr. An injure half. And now we're into the second half. And on the opening possession, Carlos Thomas lets it go. Hits Ali across the middle. He's taken down at first, but pops right back up. Scrambles for more, however, loses the ball. And a fumble forced by Jeremy Carr and recovers it on his own. Makes it first and 10 at the 49. After a Reese run, Carlos Thomas is on the run. And he's making everybody miss as he goes up the middle down to the two yard line where the fumble was recovered by Reese. One play later, first and goal from the seven and it's Ronald Fitz giving the Broncos Fitz as he goes into the end zone with 10-13 remaining in the third to make the score 14-6 as the conversion was no good. We move forward to the ensuing possession for the Bears where it's second and one at the Bronco 32. Estrella again airs it out. This time the Broncos commit pass interference on the play giving the Bears the ball at the two yard line. After an offside and a negative cheese run, the ball is again given to cheese. This time the fumble is forced by Julius Tobey at the six, recovered by Marquise Washington at the 20. Stopping the Bears where they're at with 4.15 remaining in the third. It's fourth and nine. And on the punt, Jared Mays recovers the fumble, passes it to Calvin Brewster. However, Tim Bales is there to bring him down short of the first down, giving the ball back to the Bears with 27 seconds remaining in the third quarter. The last play of the quarter is a Robert Cheese rumble for 16 yards yeah. all the way down to the 18 of the Broncos, giving a first and 10 to the Bears. Ball carried, but After several plays for no gain, Pete Amadeo is called in again. And with 13.05 remaining in the game, he hits a 38-yard field goal, which is a new high for him this season, giving the Bears the 17-6 lead. On the kickoff, Amadeo drills it deep to the 16-yard line. Bring it back as Terrence Reese going up the outside there. It's slightly pushed out of bounds by number 56, Justin Bain. However, Pino Amadeo finishes him off and gets a 15-yard penalty. Personal foul for a late hit. <laughs> Broncos have the ball. Third and nine on the bare 43. Carlo Thomas back to pass. Looking across the middle. Scrambles and just comes up short of the line of scrimmage and hits Ibn Ali for a 43-yard touchdown pass, making your score 17-14 after the two-point conversion with 10.44 remaining in the fourth quarter. Next Bears possession is an Amadeo punt, which looked to be going out of bounds at the 20-yard line. However, it's picked up by Jared Mays, who returns it to the 30 and is promptly slammed to the ground by Kevin Johnson which picks up a 15-yard personal foul, setting them up on their final possession on the 30. They move the ball to the 49-yard line of the Bears. Carlo Thomas on a, another scamper gets four yards out of the play on the fourth down and just barely gets the first down after a measurement. So it's first and 10 from the Bears 45, under a minute left in the game. Bears trying to hold on. Broncos trying for the win. 
Thomas back to pass. Again scrambles, lets it go. Wide open in the end zone, making the catch. However, the play was called back due to a holding call on the offense. Penalty flag on the play. And you can see the referees discussing it. That put the that put the Broncos back on a first and 20 at their own 45. Still with 35, 40 seconds left in the game. Thomas back to pass again. Finds Calvin Brewster and Flo Maroos on Rossi makes the game-saving tackle on that play. Makes it second and five from the 40. Calling the signals is Thomas. Goes back again to pass. By some time, however, this time he cannot escape Sean Perryman. As Perryman sacks him for a 14-yard loss. Following the sack, two incomplete passes and a kneel down by James Estrella gives the Bears the 17-14 victory hard fought over the Broncos. Moving the Bears into the finals against the Northwest Giants. Your final stats for the game show the Broncos leading in first downs and total offense and penalties. And your leading rusher was Robert Cheese. Your leading receiver from the Broncos was Ayali. And your leading tackler was Curtis Cooper with 10 tackles and 6 solos. This has been an HSG production. I'm Howard Gaber for your game highlights.